to Kawamura on the tee. Driver out. Well, taking play with that wind helping off the left, and he's got it down the left hand side. That water over there, no trouble for Kawamura. A little angle he had there with the bunker to come over, but he has oh, only eight feet for birdie. He has a crazy good short game. That's his MO. He's second in strokes gained around the greens this week, but that's normal for him, honestly. He's always in the top ten in that department. Time to attack with the driver off the tee. And that didn't do what he thought it was going to do. Fairly straight putt there down the fall line. From the back of the green to the front of the green. Now Kawamura. He passed here. Oh yeah, that's always leaking right. Kawamura from the other bunker. He's on a downhill lie here. This is almost impossible. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to stop the ball. What a middle stop stop. that was. No, that was brilliant. And the, the variety, what I've noticed, uh, this variety around the greens has really changed since he came to the DP World Tour as well because you get so many different types of grass, so many different styles of golf courses thrown at you. He's got it all. Aggressive play here for Colin Europe. That's the old uh, Ho-Sung Choi finish. Doesn't have the leg action, though, of Ho-Sung. That's a bit disappointing. But he threads the needle down there at the par four. And this is the Japanese player, Zahiro Karamura. Just off the back edge, but a good opportunity, and he takes advantage. There's a lot of different angles in that setup, Nick. There's quite a bit of knee bend. A lot of wrist action on the way back, picks the club up, and then dives through the ball with that lower body now second shot into the par five for Kawamura yeah that's a good layup leaving himself well short of the cross bunker in the middle of the fairway perfect angle for Kawamura 82 meters to the flag straight back into the breeze he flights the ball beautifully, this man, but he's left this one a little right. He's left it right where Cameron John made it just a few minutes ago. This is Kalamura for the birdie. That one. He missed red, I would suggest, just to tidy up here. Kalamura. Yeah, so it's still Cam Smith's uh, by three. Starting it well left, now it's cutting, it's on an excellent line. <laughs> and he's found the front edge of the green. 12 for Eagle from long range, Kawamura. This is like riding the wild mouse at Luna Park. Now it starts to take another dip. Bends back towards the hole. That was a sensational putt. This would be some two putt as well from where he was. And yes, we are tied for the lead. Kawamura makes birdie, Smith makes bogey, and we are locked together at 10 under par. I'll tell you what, this 13th hole playing very, very difficult. It's starting to gust about 30 to 35 kilometres per hour out here, a steady 20 to 25, and it's straight back into the wind on this 13th pole. Very surprised it's playing under par today. This one should be fine down the right half. It's perfect. You can see that body English through the ball, just shaping it left to right, working it up against the slope of the fairway. That'll be a good angle for that pin. Kawamura's turn now. The best drive out of the three. 
holding the face open. Hang on. And screamed the way he had the face open there, wasn't it? So had the club come out of his, his grip of the right hand. And now Kawamura, all three in this group. Our final group missing the green. No shame there at 13. Boy, it's tough into the wind. Ooh, a bit of pace about this one. Thanks to settle. And it will. That middle section a little flatter than the rear section. That might have been gone. And Kawamura for his par. he won't make he drops his first shot of the day and slides back to nine under and even with the caliber of his short game that left bowl it, it's dynamite down there they do have some fairway bunkers to contend with off the tee and also also for the second shot oh, and we're just driving the ball out there nice low ball flight up the right side It's only been about 10 to 20 metres behind Smith all day, but certainly holding his own. And here he is with his third. Abbreviated follow through, knocking it down and absolute beautifully crafted approach shot. Masahiro Kawamura played a beautiful shot in here. The hands in front of the ball just kept it down under the wind. Had plenty of check as a result. Oh, that's a real miss. Didn't scare the hole. We just par. Nick, I've seen a lot of professional golf, golf over the last 20 years, and this guy, as far as shot making is concerned and shot shaping, he's right up there with some of the best. I've loved watching him play today. Look at this one. Little chip shot under the wind, but that's got to go. going to leave a testing two putt from the front edge of the 16th. Karamura coming up a long way short on his second and doing the same with his third. Wood cut out to save par. Trying to save his par here. And another one. Slips by and another shot gone and the gap widens for Cameron Smith at the top of the leaderboard and he still has an opportunity to make his own birdie here. So Carl Muir dropped that shot at 13, his first bogey of the day. He followed that up with a par save at 14. Only made par at 15 while Smith made birdie and then he drops another one at 16. Kawamura, what's he got for us here? He's been blown back into the country box, Ali Whitaker. <laughs> it really gets you on the way in. It is that gusty. And even with a wedge in hand, it makes it hard to get the exact uh, distance control it would seem on the 17th. That's a hero. Kawamura, not long ago, was locked together at 10 under par with Cameron Smith. Now he's 8 under. Smith has just gone birdie, birdie to be 12 under and 4 clear. Oh, you a boy, that's a lovely touch. That ball was traveling so slowly, but still in motion. Gives you an idea of how quick some of these Bermuda 3 2 8 greens are at the World Quinter. It's a hero, Kawamura. Last to play in our final group. down just 26 metres of elevation there, pushed by the breeze and maybe, I think, pushed into one of those bunkers. Yeah, he was watching it closely off the tee, wasn't he? If there is such a thing, he hit it too straight. And he's that penalty. He made his first birdie of the day at 6 and then another one at 12. Well, Cameron Smith is going the other direction. The four-shot lead evaporated. They were tied together at 10. Back end with the whips cracking on Saturday with Eagle Farm and Doomed and Racecourse is just a little way away. Kawamura almost salutes the judge. What a putt! Kawamura with his par putt will find himself once again playing alongside Cameron Smith on Sunday here at the 40th Australian 
PGA Championship. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.